Pictured here is the massive Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii. There are over 1,300 potentially active volcanoes worldwide, leaving us with the question, what is all that volcanic ash made of? You might have seen this volcanic plume image circulating social media and wondered, is it real? Well, it is. It's a NASA photo of an eruption from the Sarchev volcano. So let's unpack what we're likely to find in plumes like this. First, expect a lot of silica. Silica is a major constituent of Earth's crust and common in a lot of common minerals, such as that piece of quartz I'm holding down there. In fact, quartz can be pure silica. Rhyolite or pumice are both silica-based rocks that form from volcanic debris. Iron and magnesium are two other very common elements found at Earth's crust. These elements are associated with darker minerals and rocks like that piece of basalt I'm holding. There can also be a lot of the elements calcium and sodium in volcanic ash plumes, and calcium and sodium are pretty common in Earth's crust as well. If you see an outcrop of granite, you can see these uh, minerals that are known as feldspar, they're kind of blocky minerals, and some of those are very calcium or sodium rich, and the other ones are potassium rich, which is the next element we would commonly find in our volcanic ash. Now, keep in mind though, when you're looking at that granite, that's actually the product of solidified melted rock material from below or near the surface, not the collection of volcanic ash. Volcanic ash actually forms a rock known as a tuff, or material can cause a welded tuff. And those are all important distinctions between different types of igneous rocks, which, yes, I talk about here. You can check out videos on igneous rocks and videos on granite specifically, but today we're just going to talk about what's in that volcanic ash. So what else will we find? Another common and important element is aluminum. We find aluminum in rocks like bauxite and even garnets. Volcanic gases are known to contain carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur. Yes, it's sulfur that gives it that smell and sometimes even toxicity. We find sulfur in minerals, lots of minerals, which are known as sulfides, but one that you might be familiar with is pyrite. Yeah, that's fool's gold, and that is a sulfur-containing mineral. It forms in volcanic environments, more specifically around hydrothermal vents. All of these elements shouldn't come as a surprise because they're literally what our Earth's crust is made of. And so it's all around you every day. It's what we're standing on and even breathing in the dust. And if you have a rock collection or rocks on your wall right now, you're bound to have rocks and minerals that contain some or all of the elements that I talked about today. If you want to learn more about minerals and rocks and all things geo, then join me on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo. I've also done some great videos on many volcanoes, including Mount Rainier Volcano. So if you want to learn more about that, head over, check out that video, and stay tuned for more adventures.